Hello and welcome back to the Precision Project. We're back at the Manatee Gun Club and what we're going to do is we're going to talk about an unsupported prone position today and I have with me my friend Matt Delora from Tactical Rifles. Matt, you want to go ahead and get down behind that rifle? Now what Matt's going to do is he's going to get into what we call an unsupported prone position. Now what Matt's doing is he's using only his body to support that rifle. Now this is the other than putting your, your rifle on a bipod or a bag or a bench, this is the most stable position you can get into. And the reason is very simple. You are as low to the ground as you can possibly be. The farther away from the ground you get, the greater the effects of gravity on your body and your rifle. So what Matt's going to do is he's got his elbows, he's got them in close enough that he's not using his shoulder muscles to support the weight. He's using his bones, he's using natural bone structure to support the weight of the rifle. Now he doesn't want them in so close that his elbows are going to wobble and he doesn't want them out too far. This is where a lot of shooters go awry is they'll spread their, if he could do that, they'll spread their elbows out then they end up using their shoulder muscles to support the rifle and eventually the shoulder muscles get tired and they start twitching. So what is it, he'll do is he'll pull them in. Now you'll notice his front hand is flat underneath the stock and it's supporting the rifle and he's got a good solid grip right here. Now how about the feet? People always get bunged up about where your feet should be. Should I have my knee cocked? Should I have my feet cocked? Should I cross my legs? Think of it like this. You want everything from your waist down to be completely limp. You don't want any extra pressure. If you cock your feet up, back, sideways, what you're doing is you're inducing muscle tension and it comes up through you. So just let your feet go flat. Don't worry about your feet so much. Worry more about your shoulders and your hands. Now as he's aiming in, what's he going to do? He's going to get in this position, he's going to take a look down through his scope, he's going to find his target, and he'll go through his breathing. He'll, take, he'll decide whether or not he has his natural point of aim. Once he's got that, all he has to do is fine tune it. Now if he needs to do some fine tuning, rather than moving his elbows, he will shif shuffle his hips left or right ever so slightly so they can get on target. Now this is a very repeatable position. He can get down in this position and he can do it over and over and over again and he can always be on target. So from the precision project if you want to shoot well what's the key word? Consistency. And for rifles that shoot well where are we going to go? We're going to go to tacticalrifles.net <laughs>